Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here. Well, today we're gonna get this Berkey water filtration and purification system all cleaned out. I've had this thing set up for a little over a year now, probably about a year and three months, something like that. And I've noticed that when I put water in it, it doesn't drain all the way down. So the filters need to be cleaned. Now you don't have to replace these filters, you can just clean them. And then they will go right back to being, you know, proficient again, where they filter out most of the water. <clears throat> now I do have the fluoride filters on these. These are good for about 18 months. So I will be having to change these uh, probably in the next few months. But the black Berkey filters, last for a long time they filter a lot of water and when you clean them and they are no longer filtering the way they did when they were new then you know you need to change them so i'm going to go ahead and get these filters pulled out of here get them cleaned reinstalled and get the system back up and running now the fluoride filters they just screw on to the black berkey filters so we're just going to unscrew these so we can remove them Just set them off to the side. And it doesn't matter which filter they go back on. Like I said, these are taking all the fluoride out of our water. Now for the black filters, you just unscrew these little wing nuts right here and loosen them up so we can remove the filters from inside the canister. And these are the black Berkey filters. Now, I don't know if you can, if the camera's picking it up or not, but you can see about this far at the, towards the bottom of the filter, it's a different color. And that's kind of like a, a slimy slime that's on there. And that's where all the sediments and stuff from our water is being picked up. So these aren't filtering through that last little bit. So I'll clean these and I'll show you how I do it in just a second get the other one taken off and this one as you can see is the same way and I'll bring it a little bit closer to the camera uh, again I don't know if it's picking it up but about up to there there's this kind of slimy residue and that's just all the contaminants from our water now you don't want to use any kind of cleaner on these just want to use some warm water and a scotch bright like um, scrubby thing on a sponge or whatever and you just want to remove that film so you won't put any soap or anything on these we're just going to remove that film so the water can go through these freely and we'll just rub the entire filter this way to remove any of the debris that has been collected by the filter. Now as you've seen that brownish looking film that's on there, just imagine if you didn't have this filter in your water, uh, those are the contaminants and stuff that's getting into your body. So we just kind of clean these really good. Give them a nice rinse, set them off to the side, and that's all it takes to clean your filters. Now, the camera's picking it up. You can see there's no longer any film on there, nothing on my thumb. So my filters are ready and they will start working at their full proficiency once again. And now, literally all I'm going to do is bring the base over here. We're going to rinse it out. There's literally nothing inside of this. But I am 
going to just go inside and kind of just rinse out the inside. Now we literally, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to show you all, you should be able to see in there. It's nice and clean, water is nice and clean. I'm getting some echoing because I'm talking into the canister. But everything's nice and clean because it's purified through those filters. That's a little bit of water that was still in there. Just going to go ahead and rinse this out a little bit. Clean the outside of it off just like I did the others. That way everything's clean. And we're good for about another year. And just that quick, guys, we have the Berkey cleaned. I'm going to put the filters back on. And we'll get it filled back up with water. And it'll be up and running again. We'll have clean, fresh Berkey water that's been not only filtered, but purified. Just as simple as filling up a pitcher and filling up the Berkey. And this holds about six gallons of water. So once it's full, you don't have to worry about filling it up anytime soon unless you have a whole lot of people drinking water. Now my granddaughter thinks it's absolutely hilarious that water's going into the pitcher. <laughs> two days. Now it was only like a one and a half gallon pitcher, but people weren't drinking a whole lot of water in this house. Since we've put in the Berkey water filtration purification system, this thing gets emptied and it's six gallons and it gets emptied just about every two days. So they're drinking a lot more water. I know I'm drinking a lot more water. So would I recommend a Berkey water filtration and purification system? I absolutely would. Um, <clears throat> I would definitely get the sight glass for it. That's a, an extra add-on. And what I would say is get the biggest Berkey you can afford. Um, the price difference between the different Berkey models is not that much. I think I paid a little over $400 for this six gallon system with the sight glass, the stand, because I wanted it up off the counter so you could put a glass underneath there and you know get your water. This thing will filter, if you have all eight filters in it, it will literally filter six gallons of water a minute. That's pretty good. With the two filters in there that I have and the fluoride filters, it will filter six gallons of water in about an hour. That's still not bad. So it only takes an hour to filter that six gallons of water. Excellent system. I would definitely recommend it to anyone that wants better tasting water. Excellent system for the money. And I think that just the amount of water that my family's drinking now through the Berkey definitely makes this a worthwhile purchase easy to maintain, the filters last a long time, the fluoride filters last for 18 months so you need to replace them every 18 months, but the black Berkey filters just last a long, long time. Uh, you can filter a lot of water using those filters. Yes, you can make your own with a couple five gallon buckets and get the black filters and utilize them in that way. I just like the clean look of the Berkey. Um, it looks better than a couple of five gallon buckets sitting here on my counter. Will you survive whatever comes your way? 
If you have a Berkey water filtration purification system, you just might. This is the Massachusetts Prepper saying, take care all.